Hey guys, what is going on? This is Neon. This is Gaming News on Clownfish Gaming. We're going to talk about the casting of Abby in the Last of Us TV series. So apparently they're going there, guys. Uh, there might be some spoilers in this episode talking about The Last of Us Part 2 and the controversy around The Last of Us Part 2. But uh, yeah, they've, they've cast their Abby, which means they're probably going to go where they went in, in The Last of Us Part 2. I really hope she's good at golf. That's all, that's all I'm saying. So let's talk about this before we get into it. Please give us a follow, give us a sub for more gaming news. Trying to keep these gaming news videos under 10 minutes. We know everybody's very, very busy. So let's uh, get into it. This is coming from IGN. HBO's The Last of Us Season 2 finds its Abby in Caitlin Deaver. Deaver? Rising star from Booksmart and No One Will Save You. I don't watch either one of those, so I have no idea who this is. Uh, we'll take on a key role from The Last of Us Part 2. They officially found its Abby. HBO announced today that Caitlin uh, Dever Deaver will take on one of the key roles from The Last of Us Part 2, joining Belly Ramsey, Ellie, Belly Ramsey, is it Bella Ramsey? Belly Ramsey, and Pedro Pascal. R.I.P. Pedro. Uh, apparently, this is how he just wants to like exit every show. I, I don't know. Unless they change the plot. I mean, it's possible because the ratings are pretty good for this show. It's possible they could be like, you know what? We can't uh, we can't get rid of Joel yet. We need Joel uh, because the show is going to tank without Joel. So let's change let's change the plot. This is an alternate universe. Uh, we're going to change the plot of uh, The Last of Us. Described by HBO as a skilled soldier whose black and white view of the world is challenged as she seeks vengeance for those who loved those who loved for the, she loved their man their writing is not good skilled soldier whose black and white view of the world is challenged as she seeks vengeance for those who loved okay she loved i think a diva will have a large role to play in season two and possibly beyond so maybe they're gonna actually flesh abby out a little bit abby's got lots of flesh she's she's pretty bulky I, a lot of people thought abby was trans with the, and I don't think she I don't think she is. I don't know. She's just pretty buff. Uh, our casting process for season two has been identical to season one. We look for world-class actors who embody the souls of the characters and the source material, said Craig Mazin and Neil Druckmann. Nothing matters more than talent. We're thrilled to have an acclaimed performer like Caitlin join Pedro, Bella, and the rest of our family. It's Bella, not Belly, I guess. IGN, come on. I think they're probably laying off a bunch of editors over there or something. Everybody's laying people off. The official release did not offer any additional information about The Last of Us Season 2. So I'm thinking the last shot of Season 2, the last episode, the last shot of Season 2, we're going to have uh, Abby get out of a golf club. <laughs> they're going to kidnap Joel, and that's how they're going to start Season 3. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea where they're going to go with it. I think it would be a very bad idea to... I did say there were spoilers in this this episode, right? Yeah, it would be a very bad idea to kill Joel off this early when, you know, the show's just kind of warming up. Um, for her part, uh, Deaver is a rising star who broke out in Justified and Last Man Standing. I don't know how to pronounce her name, Dever Deaver. Uh, she has also had major roles in Dope, Dope Sick, Book Smart, and No One Will Save You. The Last of Us is coming off a successful season that has uh, seen it tipped for numerous Emmy Awards with Storm Reid getting the win as Outstanding Guest Actress in the drama series, yada, 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 lots of people watching it. Yeah, it did really well. The finale had uh, 8.2 million viewers uh, reaching series high despite Oscars competition. So it went up against the Oscars and a lot of people tuned in. So only nine episodes in and we're, we're already talking about uh, bringing in the person who kills Joel. I'm sorry, did I, did I spoil it for you? Yeah, so let's talk about that. Uh, you know, we have to talk about that part. We have to, we have to have a conversation, everybody. We have to talk about this. Abby was a huge, huge controversial character a couple of years ago when The Last of Us Part Two came out because she kills off Joel uh, pretty much in the beginning of the game. And it's, it's, people were pissed how it happened. They thought it was stupid. They thought her motivation was stupid. Maybe they're going to actually flesh this character out a little bit, but they were angry. They were very, very angry that she killed this uh, beloved character off the way that she did and it's just you know this new character shows up and offs the the main character and and uh, that's how it goes but yeah they it was a huge controversy 
people were furious. A lot of people rage quit The Last of Us Part Two. Um, PewDiePie, I think <laughs> he took the he was streaming it and he like took the disc out or he threw it out or something. He's like, yeah, I'm not playing this anymore. Um, so Den of Geek has this article up. You know, Abby's a controversial character first introduced in The Last of Us Part Two, and according to HBO's description, she's a skilled soldier. Uh, yeah, and a great golfer too, apparently. Uh, who is she, and what makes her so controversial? According to Den of Geek, right out of the gate, Abby kills a beloved character. It's five years after the events of the first game. Uh, Ellie and Joel are living in Jackson, Wyoming, and this brand new uh, character, Abby, you have, you have the opportunity to control Abby, whose quest to avenge the death of her father brings her to the outskirts of Jackson and to Joel and Ellie's radius. God, this is really flowery. Uh, yeah, so basically, uh, basically they, they kill Joel with a golf club. That's what they do. It turns out that Joel is the man she's been looking for, and she brutally murders him in front of Ellie, Tommy, and the players as they lose control over Abby in this cutscene. And then you get to you get to play as her. Who the hell would want to play as her after that? Uh, you have to you have to uh, uh, go back to Abby after she offs Joel. Right? It makes sense that fans were upset as they had to play as the person who killed Joel, a character they spent a lot of time with in the first game. It also makes sense that they'd be frustrated. Uh, why he was killed so early on in the sequel, but at the same time, that doesn't warrant the death threats the performance actor for Abby received. Yeah, I, 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 that I agree with 100%. Um, I think it was Laura, was it uh, Laura Bailey? Yeah, I think it was Laura Bailey who does a lot of anime voices, and I, my understanding is she's a sweetheart. She did not deserve death threats. That being said, it was a really stupid, stupid decision uh, for them to do that, and I think it it permanently damaged the video game franchise. Now, the show's doing well. I am wondering if it's smart for them to repeat this, if it's smart for them to repeat the murder of Joel, uh, especially so early on in the show. But I think what they're going to do is probably build up to that by introducing Abby earlier, I think, maybe. But normies don't know what happens to Joel in the game. But they could go in a totally different direction. It could be like The Walking Dead, and they could just take it in a totally different direction than the comics, you know. With the, so maybe he lives. You know, I have no idea. But uh, it's it's definitely not going to go over well with people who have played the game. Uh, then they start, you know, the Den of Geek. They start this whole thing. Abby was subject to online misogyny. Um, you know, pushing pushing a, a woke anti-Christian agenda. What? Oh, because people thought she was trans. But she's not trans. But then trans people got mad that she wasn't trans. She was just really, really buff. So, um, yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a really sticky uh, situation for them at HBO because if it were me, and I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm gonna tell you what to do. I'm gonna give you some unsolicited advice, HBO. Given how popular the show is, if you would like the show to remain popular, I would strongly suggest maybe rethinking some of the plot points from the game. This is one of those few times where I'm going to be like, you know what, let's deviate from the source material a little bit because that was a very, very unpopular decision. I think it's probably going to affect uh, future sales of The Last of Us uh, going forward, the video game, right? Um, I would strongly suggest that you rethink how you handle this or if you do it, do it in such a way that it, 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 it makes a lot more sense. It's a lot more organic and it doesn't feel like you're um, sticking it to the audience. You know, if they're investing all this time with, with uh, Pedro Pascal as Joel and you have a lot of, a lot of fangirls and fanboys uh, out there uh, squealing for Pedro Pascal, you don't want to off him, have a brand new character show up and a few episodes into it, have her beat him with a golf club. You know, that's going to be the end of your show. Just saying. I'm just saying. I'm going to wrap it up, guys. Please subscribe. Go out to clownfishtv.com. We'll talk to you later.